I already have a thumbnail with an upscaler, so why creating a second video in this regard? Well, the point is, in my previous video, I used an upscaler that did not use the most recent technology that were available, like today's video, namely using ZVR2. Z, not Seed VR2. I'm more, I think, a little bit confused already by all the Z image parts that I'm using. Uh, since the in the last couple of weeks. However, today we take a look at Seed VR2. And when I made this video in the end of December, Seed VR2 was still the most remarkable upscaler model. And we will use it also today to upscale from around 768 pixels to 2K. I already did also some tests from 512 to 2K and even more. Yeah, sometimes if you exaggerate it a little bit, then you, of course, you get uh, artifacts and so on. And of course, the quality really depends also on the context of the image. Like, for example, the image we will take today a look at is, for example, focusing more with, yeah, like, like I would say, with, yeah, not really with faces or with architects, but yeah, with fire and, and clouds and dust and stuff like this, or more with textures that works pretty well. But however, yeah, I'm already... Uh, trying to describe the drawbacks of something without even testing it now here I would suggest before I talk too much and dive too deep into uh, the nerd stuff Let's turn on the Confure eyes servers. Let's sit back and let's get started And as you see in Confure I I already yeah Created one node namely the load image part with an image of an AI generated image with a rocket launch at night with some Aurora in the background some some fog and some fire, as I have already described it, you know, all the different small textures and a maximum resolution of 660, uh, 768 pixels. What we need now is we need the Seed VR2 node. So Seed VR2 video upscaler, you need to install it via the extension. And yes, it's the video upscaler because you can use it for images and videos alike. So don't be confused with the naming. We need first the load DIT model, then we need also the CVR uh, variational autoencoder model, and then we need also the video upscaler. So all in all, three parts. We have here the DIT model that needs to be attached and also the variational autoencoder. We can leave everything as it is. Models are being downloaded automatically, so don't be confused if things take a little bit too much time. And we leave also with, with the default settings for now, but we have to reduce here the batch size to one, otherwise maybe things are getting a little bit out of hand. The resolution we set now to, I would say 2048, the max resolution 2048, and then put the image as an input. And afterwards we can take, for example, the compare image node that we also used in the past by RG3. And I would say the uploaded one is the image B and the original is image A. When we click simply on the run button, you see everything is already loaded because I did it um, while preparing the video. And this is now the time it takes for the upscaling on my um, 4090 computer, right? So this is like, you see like the real, the real speed of the model. And yeah, the image is a little bit small. We have to extend a little bit the node here. And then we can compare it with the different, with the slider here. And you already see from far away that we have some details now and the image, and I would suggest to scroll in a little bit. We have here the Aurora, for example, it looks a little bit blurry now. And if we go to 2K, then it looks a little bit better. Of course, the same thing also applies here for the rocket engine and for the fire, We it was a little bit blurry here. Now it's more sharp. And also the rocket itself with all its different, um, yeah, uh, with, with its architecture, with the, with the, with the entire, shape here and the metal thingy some leds also attached and um yeah also the fins it looks pretty nice and also sharp of course there's a lot of interpretation going on yeah for sure because uh yeah the upscaler doesn't know it has to interpolate in between but it looks pretty reasonable also here for our small um towers here on the side it's now very blurry and then we get an image that looks i would say reasonable the image already had some artifacts, so it was very blurry here, you see, and now it's interpreting some artifacts for the uh, for the part here, uh, the housing. It's okay, it could be worse, right? But you see also the lamp here is being correct, correctly interpreted. Here this pipe thingy as well. We have here some other small details like the bushes and so on, also in the dark. 
We have here the next tower with the small pipes and the attachment here, the lower part. Also the entire platform looks pretty nice and decent. Now, of course, you need to evaluate it for yourself, right? You need to evaluate, does it work for my face? Does it work for my architecture, for my graphical design, comic book, or what have you? This is just a simple, quick, uh, just a quick and dirty uh, workflow for you to work with, adjust the settings a little bit and try it out for yourself. I think it's a good starting point. And maybe in the future, we will make a more comparison, a comparison video with the different upscalers. I don't know yet, but I think this short video should help you to get started. Thanks for watching. Thanks as always for the support and until next time.